So what some of you may notice is that I've changed my YouTube channel name from How to Lucid to Lucid Dreaming Experience. And one of the reasons I did that is because in the past the channel was focused on purely just teaching you techniques like how to lucid dream, how to remember your dreams, whatever. Uh, but what I realized is it's more just about the experience. It's more about instead of learning how to do something, it's more about learning how to have a certain experience. And the, the word experience is much more fitting because everybody experiences something slightly different. You know, it's not just like there's one version of lucid dreaming, uh, just like there's not one version of waking reality or life in general. There's multiple versions and they're all interlinking and interrelating with each other uh, in infinite different ways. So, so by changing the channel to lucid dreaming experience, it means I can talk about much more subjective things. It doesn't have to be so black and white in terms of the physical straight line techniques because these things are different for everyone and we kind of already knew that. So by changing it to lucid dreaming experience, I can now focus on my experiences, stories, subjective opinions, and things that don't have to be so black and white. There are several other channels, I'm not gonna name any names, but I think we all know who I'm, who I'm talking about, who seem to be, I guess, kind of rigid in terms of lucid dreaming concepts and opinions and even just beliefs about reality in general. And we have to realize there is so much that we don't know. It's been said that at the moment, right, in, in today's uh, scientific consensus, we are aware of something like 0.005% of the things that we know exist in the world and in the universe. Imagine how many things we're not aware of that we also don't know exist. There must be trillions of different bits of information and concept and layers of reality that all interlink with each other in ways we can't even imagine. And so how limiting then is it to think that everything we need to know about lucid dreaming, which is an incredible state of consciousness, how limiting is it to think that everything we need to know about that is confined to this 0.005% of reality that we can experience? I mean, it seems completely naive, right? Surely within that 99.99 whatever percent that we don't even perceive, there's gotta be stuff within that that we can't explain or that we don't understand. And that's really why I changed the name because the experience of lucid dreaming is there's so little we know for sure about it that it seems weird even to have lucid dreaming gurus or to have people who say, oh, this is the only way or shared dreaming is impossible. How can you say these things when there's so little we even perceive, let alone understand? So when you take that perspective, it becomes far more likely that the, you know, the, the millions, thousands of stories that you hear from people claiming to have had shared dreaming experiences, claiming to have had precognitive dreams, uh, shifting, you know, shifting realities, astral projecting, it seems far more likely then that these people are telling the truth. Why would they lie? Why would so many disconnected, um, kind of spread out people around the world and throughout history, why would they all tell these stories if they aren't true? It seems so weird to think in such limiting terms in the sense of, you know, lucid dreaming is only in the mind. How, how do you know that? You know, it's, it's never been proven. And if it has been proven that it's only in the mind, then the best you can say is that the current level of science seems to think it's only happening in the mind. I mean, there are things that 50 years ago would have been considered scientifically impossible, which we know now, you know, they're fact. We know that they're true now. But 50 years ago, you would have sounded crazy when you said those things. So really science has to catch up with the knowledge that the ancient civilizations and cultures have had for millennia. So anyway, yeah, that's why I changed the name.